Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Um, today we are going to be doing the... Um, well, trying to do in one go, the Wet Harvest, which involves um, some planks from here, wooden planks times two, and some bricks and metal beams, which we're going to be trying to do with uh, getting all getting all from the warehouse and trying to do in one go with uh, the sideboard trader that's available here. Uh, but we will see. Um, as for the truck, uh, I decided we'll we actually had the money available, uh, and given the fact that you it's straight trade in value, you don't lose any value on bought and sold uh, gear. Um, I just went for the 45s. I was using the 42s, which well, I, I guess if I have the money for it, I might as well get the bigger tires. I think this would help us, maybe. I'm not entirely sure how the physics work, but given they were more expensive, I think they were be they are better. And they're still highway tires, so we'll have uh, poor coverage in uh, mud and just average on the off-road. But I, if it's an upgrade, given the fact that we're going to be doing some pretty hard uh, transport right now, I think it's best that we uh, pick this one up. I will uh, sell the 42s because I don't think I'll need them, and all my other trucks already have uh tires on them so i don't need it so yeah let's uh head out uh first things first uh we will be taking the um, wooden planks from here i don't think there's any anything that has no they're mostly empty yeah, there's nothing that has um, what we need, and what the ones that do have what we need are pretty far away and include bricks, which we don't care about. Uh, well, not that we care about. I mean, it's only one of them, and we need like two, and it's useless to do a half uh, route. So let's just head out. Uh, actually, let's set the route. You think I, I know the map by now, but I just like seeing and following those uh, those markers. Uh, the long way around, uh, I guess. Not that I particularly like going the long way around, but it's the most efficient way. Uh, do we need to do it in any particular order? That's what we care. No, it's at the same time, doesn't really matter, just bring them there. Okay, cool. Okay, and yeah, that's that should be about it. I kinda wish just a, there was a bridge here, but oh well. These are some pretty big tires after playing uh, for so long with the 42s. I'm curious to see if there's any improvement in uh, traction and uh, general handling. went through that, so sure. still have a fair bit of cash to save up for until we actually can use the well, we can buy an off-road truck and uh, of course uh, they will probably require some upgrades on their own so just having the stock one wouldn't help as much uh, as just having a regular I don't know I guess like this fleet star heavy truck uh, upgraded so just getting a blank off-road trunks doesn't seem to be as uh, doesn't seem to be something that we want to do. So 
system should actually have to save a bit more money than just that. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I guess the 45 wheels. We went through some plenty sections which we did get stuck in before and we didn't get stuck in now, so maybe they matter more than uh, size matters more than I think. here because we often hit our truck oh wow and this was just rear wheel drive not even all wheel drive but okay let's let's actually go through this horribly muddy section I want to see this okay we're stuck wheel drive active It's definitely going through it. This is some pretty serious mud. Huh. Okay. Color me slightly impressed. That was with uh, pretty much high speed auto going through it. So, are we on the right path or did we just go. Well, we're kind of on the right path. We just need to do some uh, drastic off roading to get back to where we need to be. Um, let's be careful. I said me to myself. Ah, oh, actually, this is fine. Uh, I don't want to flip over because we don't have an autonomous uh, winch on this. So if we do flip over and the uh, engine stalls. That's pretty much it. That's an instant recovery back to garage. Um, there is, I saw there's a bit of wobble. I mean, you can wobble your car left and right a bit. Uh, but I wouldn't exactly count on it. Okay, so we're here. Let's pick up some, uh, what do we need? Wooden planks? Two times, okay. Break cargo management. Wooden planks, right? Wooden planks. Anything else you can give me? Just wooden planks? Wooden planks. Okay, cool. So, wooden planks times one and times two. Perfect. Uh, let's remove the parking brake because that actually hinders us. Um, let's try. Let's try actually this this route. It's a bit terrible with that water there, and I remember it being relatively muddy, but I think it's better than just going uphill with this load. This like aren't these like not planks? Shouldn't planks be you know planks? Um, I think that uh, these types of square uh, wooden things have a different name. But well, me being very pretentious with the naming of things in this game. Stumps or dowels. Uh, I just remember that uh, these particular uh, wood shapes, wood types of you know cuttings of wood per se, have a specific name. If you guys know it, please leave it down in the comments. And wow, actually, pff, those 45-inch wheels are making work. I mean, pff, wow. It's been so easy swimming, even fully loaded. Man, if I if I would have known this, I would have just probably upgraded the wheels 
way, way, way back and not waited for level 6 to actually get all, uh, off road uh, wheels, well, all terrain wheels. I mean, this has been smooth sailing. Are we going the right way? Yeah, we are. That's the YouTube cover right there. Be prepared for... Wait, wait. That sign just say, be prepared for the unexpected. <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm not sure that's an officially recognized road sign, but okay. like I know single road sign with the I know saying uh, smile live laugh <laughs> and you see this guy you know this big hulking dude driving this big hulking truck going like uh-huh <laughs> sure man wow I mean this was just real real drive such an improvement man seriously if you'd have told me it matters this much. I think I'll actually go uh, and put bigger tires on um, on my Scout as well, the CK 1500. Pretty good, still pretty good. Break cargo management. Okay. Uh, deliver planks of wood. There we go. So now we still have to get uh, bricks, which is a two load, and a heavy load of steel. You can get both of these from um, from the uh, warehouse here, if I'm not mistaken. I hope so, at the very least. I think I saw. There was a way you can see that, but I don't really know right now. Whiskey uh, forwarding. Wet. In any ways, uh, for what sure, I think we should get back, recover, save some time, the garage. Also do that repair that we need to. Uh, Actually, the the real challenge will be going through this section here, which we've had trouble with, and we hate, we utter hate that section. So let's see. It's also going to be pretty ambitious, uh, getting the ricks and the metal beams, because that's pretty big load. We've had trouble just, you know, on a single load of metal beams, let alone on a double load of um, bricks and metal beams, which would be like four slots worth of cargo. But I guess we'll decide uh, once we get past the little section here, the one we hate, and see how we deal with it. If it's fine, uh, I'll go for both of them. But if it's not, if I have trouble with it, I'll just go with a single load. So usually we go on the right here, go past this, and then we get stuck around this point, don't we? Yep, we did. Let's go all-wheel drive, let's go differential lock. So yeah, we still get stuck in the same spot, I, thought, I think it'd be kind of unwise come here come through here with um the 
full load. I mean, this looks terrible. But yeah, now we still have some trouble with this, so... It's better than it was before, I think. But it's not to the point where I would realistically want to carry uh, cargo through. this I think we should be doing this uh, via the um, via the northern route which is uh, a lot more uh, paved over it would be longer but at the very least it would save us some time Still, it went through better than I think we did on the other wheels, on the 42s. But this is truly and utterly mud and these are still highway tires. I think we'll see a huge improvement once we switch to the all-terrain tires. stuck on it. That rear axle is still pretty low to the ground. But yeah, I guess that's why we get uh, fatter wheels. Still, this has, went, this has gone pretty well so far. see maybe hauling cargo through this but uh, we'll just see what options we have Cheekily attached trailer of uh, the overshot. There we go. This might be entirely too ambitious, but oh well. Cargo management. Uh, what do we want here? We want metal beams. Do we want metal beams on the truck? I think metal beams are heavier, so I know. Let's just put these. On the truck and on the trailer, let's put two stacks of bricks. Okay, this is a thick load. Now, let's look. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, I think this is the smart option. I'm not sure how nasty this road is. I don't think it have been. I don't think it was that bad. So we can totally go this, 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 all the way here, cross the bridge, go up here, swim by the fuel station, and use the side road, which we actually haven't scouted, haven't ever been in this area because it's still blacked out. And yeah, let's give that a shot. Uh, again, this is pretty terrible and I 
want to give it a shot. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. You can definitely feel the extra weight. I don't think we'll have any serious issues in regards to turning radius space with uh, the setup. It's pretty long though, that's what she said. And I have to wonder, is this really the best way to stack tiles for transport? I mean, it seems not right. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Uh, for you know off-road conditions where you have to make sure it doesn't wobble left right uh, it's probably the best option what do i know i'm not uh, a brick stacker but okay this is going this isn't terrible I actually like the white base of how the wheels are set up on this trailer. It's not just uh, some, you know, somehow pulled a bit in the middle. It's pretty wide based. Okay, for sure. Let's activate the all-wheel drive. That was the forced clutch because the car stalled. Down to one out of five, the first gear. And it's going. This is slightly muddy, it's not, uh, you can see how the wheels bite into the mud a bit, so this is not a clean road. But we are doing a good job of it. Actually, you know what, you know what I'll do? Uh, let's do this, let's do, let's go into audio for a second, let's lower the music volume a bit. I know about you guys, but I think this is a bit too loud. Let's drop it down to 60% or something. It was too much before ground. Okay, so this is actually going pretty well. Uh, all good drive is active and we're making good time. I wasn't expecting us to be this successful in hauling two full loads of cargo. I mean, I haven't reached the point where I'm actually dragging another car behind me with a winch. <laughs> or, you know, another trailer with a winch. But yeah, we are hitting that 12 liters a minute consumption, so the, the engine is really working hard on this. But I think once we reach this hump, it should be pretty clear sailing. We have a little stream down there, which is a bit of an issue, but uh, I think we should be good. Let's try not smacking our truck too hard. There we go. Oh, wow. I can't believe this is going this well. And I haven't even jinxed it yet. I mean, we're still going forward. That was a force uh, switch there down to uh, a lower gear. There you go, success. At this point, I think it's a straight shot. I should probably take down that road close sign. By this point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there. Easy does it. Let's not uh, drive exactly all over the road. I think uh, I remember it could get pretty muddy. So 
let's be a bit careful and drive on the side here. We need fuel now, we don't. The very clearly defined farm. And I kind of wish mm, the science would be slightly more in universe. Not just farm, road, town, factory, warehouse. Uh, sorry about that, guys. This was way easier than I expected it to be. What uh, influence some tires can make. Let's try and not get bogged down exactly here. Here, cargo management. Deliver that, deliver that. With harvest, that's going to make a big difference. These farmers they have been in real trouble if it weren't for you. I'm sure they'll be calling on your services again soon. That's 420, yeah, uh, XP and 3800 credits. That's pretty solid. Uh, we, are, we still are about 400, yeah, 700 or something. I just call it enough like to me to tasks to missions but uh, that was a pretty successful run um, I'll just try and leave this uh, trailer here somewhere on the side I want to leave it in the middle of the road attach trailer um, let's actually return back to the um, garage and see what we're gonna be doing next time mm, we have another speed trial so you can do like some grub over all mentioned rumbling their bellies without them drilling so you have maximum number of damage you can take uh, it restricts your truck change you cannot recover or use the garage so it's six minutes, nine minutes, and nine minutes plus. And you have to we have to do what? We have to deliver to the drilling site. We have to deliver some consumables from the farm. You know what? I think uh, I think we can try this next time. I mean, especially now that we uh, built this bridge. Six minutes uh, with uh, consumables times two. So I actually need a truck for this. Uh, we can't do it on the... Um, well, we don't really need a truck, we can get a trailer for the... We can get a trailer for the scout car. I wonder if that would be better. I mean, we know how much it, it takes for us, time-wise, about 10 minutes. But we need to do 6 minutes, so we should probably do this with a, with a, a scout car or something that's faster. Hmm. Uh... Let's postpone that. Let's probably uh, look at something that's more solid for us to do. Uh, the essentials. The local farm in Smithville Dam is in dire shape. They need basic materials. Okay, so this would be the first mission that actually forces us to go out of uh, our little sector here in Black River. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, deliver to the factory. The heavy fuel tanker semi-trailer. Okay, so we have the semi-trailer which we need. And we need a high saddle for this. So, uh, can this be done in any way? With the factory bricks and beams. Okay, we'll see. Um, 
But yeah, we can totally do this do it next time. Just uh, deliver access to location as a reward. Huh? What? So what? We don't have access to this usually. Huh? I don't know. But yeah, let's let's do this next time. Let's deliver this uh, fuel tr truck from here. Mm, or should we just postpone it? Anything else? What's the last one? Lost container. Uh, deliver to the warehouse. Uh, they're drilling spare parts one. So we get the... Where do we get the drilling spare parts one? We get it from here? One, two, three, four. So there's four of these. Deliver to the brick house, right? Right, but we had another... We had another one. Another mission. Which one was it? Riverside Repair? No, not Riverside Repair. Missing Machinery? Yeah. Which... Find the river the factory. These four. So... Are there more than one? Or do these respawn or something? Because otherwise we have a problem. <laughs> because we, we just don't have enough, right? Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, I'll look through my options and we'll see what we're going to be doing next time in the meanwhile. Uh, either way, uh, if you like this video, uh, if you like the calm, chill atmosphere that I try to make with these videos, uh, please do like the video, subscribe the video, subscribe to the video, to the channel actually, <laughs> and all that good YouTube stuff. And leave a comment if you really, really like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.